Hi friends, it's Andrew from Reselling to Freedom. Welcome back to the eBay room. Today, let's discuss negative feedback. That's right, I got negative feedback. I was on a roll for I think a solid year of all positive feedback, no issues at all. I had one that was an accident, like the comment itself was positive, she just clicked the negative that was removed in five minutes. So. Let's go over what happened, what it is, and how I'm trying to fix it. So we were on vacation about two or three weeks ago, and I had my store on away mode. So we left on the 8th, so I had it started on like the 7th. So away mode started, in which typically for me, every time I have away mode turn on, I make sales right away, and sometimes I get tons. I think I had four or five while we were gone. It's January. It's Indiana. I always give myself an extra day just in case it's crazy weather. We can't get home. We'd be at home to lots of snow. So I shipped the item on the 12th and when you buy something and the seller has their away mode turned on, you get like a little notification as soon as you view, view the item. So I'm assuming this person did. I've looked them up. They're not new to eBay. They've been on eBay for 20 years. So they bought an $8 sweater on the 8th. I shipped it on the 12th. So then you have Saturday, Sunday, can't do anything. Monday was actually a holiday, it was Martin Luther King Day. She received it on the 23rd. I agree that is a long time to wait to receive a package. So her feedback actually states, insanely long shipping time. I ordered my item on January 8th and received it on January 23rd. Does that sound fair to you? I agree, it does not. But that's, that's, I, I can't ship it faster than what I did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hand deliver it to hurt California? I, I can't do that. I'd like to go to California. So I can see the whole tracking of received, printed, departed from Illinois, landed up in LA, went to Anaheim, delivered to her hand on January 23rd at 2.05. I sent her a message explaining everything to her, no response. I sent her an additional message, no response. It's harder to have feedback removed if you call eBay. They want you to do it all online, which I have done. So I went online, I clicked on the option of what fit this the best for delivery. I filled out a few questions and the next morning it said, denied. Request to remove feedback is denied because the person who left it didn't break policy. I'm like, well, no, she didn't break the policy. It just doesn't warrant negative feedback in my opinion. Well, I have since then requested a revision through her feedback on my side. Again, no response. I think she has 10 days for that and I just did it maybe two days ago. I can now comment under her feedback so if somebody else looks at my page like oh she has one negative feedback what's it from and then I can put my explanation. Again most people don't care 508 compared to one but I don't like it there and I can't seem to get it removed. I did try to call eBay a few times and I can't get through all their prompts to get a real person because it just says please refer to our website. Would you like to have a text message sent to you. So I did that once. It takes me back to the same customer service page, but that's not what I want. I wanted to be at 100%, not 99.2. If I'm in school, it's still at A, but it's not a perfect. So I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm not gonna send her another message. Two is plenty. I'll try to call eBay again to see if I can get through to them. I've looked at a lot of large resellers and a lot of them have negative feedback and it's usually somebody complaining about something silly. But when you ship that many things, you're going to make somebody mad at some point. You can't please the whole world, but dang it, I wanted to. So that's it for now. I'm going to go pout. <laughs> One negative feedback. I have two things to ship today. Got to go to the warehouse. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you next time. But wait, there's more. I have an update. So she actually sent me a message last night and it says, hello there. I swear to you, after I left the review, I went back to change it because I love the sweater and for whatever I paid for, it was a bargain. I'm glad you sent me the option to revise it because it was bothering me, I left you a negative review. I run a small business myself and I know reviews matter and I'm just sorry I didn't think about it before I posted it. Take care and I do love my sweater. And we've sent a few messages since then, so I am back to 100% feedback. Thank you, Julie, for the kind words. And I left her a very long, positive review, five stars, the whole work. So yay, it took a few days. So it can give you the option to send a request to revise it. And they have 10 days and she did it like the next day. Success. 